Now let's find out the relationship between kinetic energy, kinetic energy per unit volume, per unit volume. Let's represent that as E dash and pressure P. We already have derived the relationship connecting the pressure and root mean square velocity. That is pressure exerted by a gas equal to 1 by 3 rho v square, v bar square. We, we already have proved this one. If you have any doubt regarding the derivation, you can always go back and check the video. I'll put the link in the description below. So pressure is equal to 1 by 3 rho v square, where rho is the density of the gas. Let's call that as equation number 1. But we have kinetic energy E is equal to half m v m v square, where v bar is the uh, root mean square velocity and m is the mass of the gas. Then E dash, that is the energy, kinetic energy per unit volume will be energy by volume. This is equal to 1 by 2, you can substitute, you can place V here, M by V, V square. Okay, this mass per unit volume will be density, half rho V bar square. Therefore, kinetic energy per unit volume will be half rho V square. Call that as equation number 2. So, if you divide 2 with 1, then we have E dash by on the left side a dash by p is equal to 1 by 2 rho v bar square divided by 1 by 3 rho v bar square you can cancel this rho v square and rho v square so a dash by p will be 3 by 2 or e dash is equal to 3 by 2 p which means the average kinetic energy per unit volume will be 3 by 2 times the pressure exerted by the gas.